I'm Mike Bowman. I work here at the GE Global Research Lab in the Energy Systems Laboratory. This place is designed to take people's ideas and let them grow them and turn them into big things. So it's your opportunities are what you really make them. You really couldn't find a better job. Uh, the fact that I get paid to, to work in places like this is pretty awesome. I'd like to thank you for coming along with me today. I'm going to take you through my lab and show you a little bit. Um, I want to talk about energy specifically. Energy and energy conversion fascinate me. Uh, they've been part of my life ever since I've been a little kid growing up through college. Um, the magnitude of the challenge, the opportunities out there, the variety of feedstocks, uh, regulations, environmental impact, all those things make it a very challenging problem. And to me that's interesting, the things I like to work on. So if we take coal for an example, uh, coal is really just a big lump of carbon. Uh, it's got some hydrogen in there, a few other elements. Um, it's the workhorse of what's used today to make electricity, uh, both in the U.S. and throughout the world. So you can ask yourself if it's out there and it's so popular, why do we care? Um, but what our goal here is to try to make it more efficient and cleaner use um, to make the world a better place. And that process we use is called gasification. Simply stated, it's trying to take this big lump of carbon and turn it into a combustible gas that we can use to make power. In reality, it's a very complex system. There's a lot of chemistry involved, heat transfer, thermodynamics, and a variety of things. And that's kind of what we do in a lab like this today. So we've got a variety of programs going on to look at how you pre-process the coal, dry it, move it around into a system. We have reactors similar to this one where we can bring in a variety of constituents of gas. We can look at the chemistry through the process, look at how temperature impacts it, look at the exhaust that comes out and what that constitutes. Um, we can then look at cleaning up this exhaust, removing things like carbon dioxide and other elements that we don't want to go into the atmosphere. Um, the challenge with that then is we, it's called a synthesis gas and we need to convert that into power. So we have a unique capability here where we can take um, researchers from around the world and put them together to make very complex pieces of hardware like this. This is a uh, nozzle that would go into a combustion system and what it allows us to do is bring that fuel or the syngas we just made into a system, mix it with air uh, and fuel and appropriate methods to make very clean energy, high energy stuff that go into a gas turbine and get some power out of it. Um, the ability to take this from a clean sheet through a PC design, looking at all the analytics that go involved, the, the basic physics, the heat transfer, the thermodynamics, into a piece of hardware, into a large test cell facility we have out back and test it is an awesome experience. We get to validate the emissions predictions, the performance of it. Then we can take this, work with our business and our eco-imagination theme and make products that actually go into the field. And I got to tell you, the feeling that you get when you walk out and see something that you've worked on, making power, making an impact in the world is huge. You can't get that in a lot of places, and GE you can. Um, so let me leave you with this. If you imagine a time when there's a process that takes a piece of coal like this into a process, generates electricity, fuels, clean water, and a variety of other streams, and puts out an exhaust gas that's as clean or cleaner than the air that it breathes is, is an amazing thing. And it's our job at GE Eagle Research to make that happen. Imagine that.